in this video, I'll be unboxing the gigantic, huge subwoofer to end all subwoofers, where all other subwoofers would have to come up and meet up with all other subwoofers. Also, be some cats. step down transformer uh, that I've got already okay 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 it says there was a volume control issue with the buy not everything would work but uh, okay this can only be a simple uh, digital sort of uh, volume sort of issue sort of snag this is uh, some sort of sequence because there's no remote for this so it's possibly that's doing a uh huh. Let's do a pink noise check. Uh, short, short delay, and if I go long delay, it goes slower. Over to right. Uh huh. I can add a relay switching. Okay, that works. And see, this is mostly without the manual. Um, so I have to open up. <laughs> Also as a myth on there. So I've got to open this uh, Technics up and have a look uh, behind here and see what see what's going on. Could be a simple thing to replace if I can locate the component. The the chassis is uh, pretty uh, robust. It's pretty heavy. It's got a good chassis on it. Wow, this is very well constructed. It's almost like like the THX. Uh, professional up there that is a oh that is a heavy plate that's a heavy plate it's not built like a say a trinov you know i mean how much is that trinov 30 to 30 30 grand or whatever um so i'm a few screws on there around the side uh unnecessarily I didn't. I didn't know. It was almost a bit like I'm doing that uh, T H T H X professional. I mean, this is very construction. Uh, very very heavy construction build. Okay, I need my other glasses to have a look. So I've got to undo that and have an eyeball down at the volume control. Oh, I think I understand this part here. I've got an understanding of that. Okay, still, still a bit of a way to get in. And it's right down here, so I've got to take off this facial plate. Uh, like any, um, these were pretty, pretty uh, oh, awkward to remove. I think this has got to be the same, um, unless this face plate comes off and comes out over it. I don't know, uh, but it's very tight, so I'll have to see. Magic's being too inquisitive, and Bear's being inquisitive, and yeah, I can't add them over the, all this while I'm working, even though they are. I'm repairing, attempting to repair. Okay. Okay. Oh, I 
most likely. I'll start maybe looking at, but I doubt it because it's still at least. I've got to go take this part off here. Why? Why? I think maybe maybe it's because uh, when the remote was in use uh, and someone I don't know probably uh, locked the remote in a certain way and it's kind of locked the uh, the digital volume. Um, but no, don't think so. Otherwise, it would, it would still uh, when you turn a dial, it just randomly keeps going around. And all it does is just dialing up, kind of like a voltage level or such going through and then it just goes through the, the volume scale theoretically what need here is tax with his uh with his tools <laughs> uh, yeah This is a very tricky alignment, this. These are uh, unpull un off. But these, this has all got to be put pushed back down and aligned with the pins onto the uh, behind here. Uh, and there they are, all oh, quite a few of them. Tricky, yeah, but. Okay, that's more or less where I need to be here. It's this, uh, it's this bit here, or could it be? It could be that, it could be uh, when it links onto here, and it's going to any sort of number of um, components. So this could be not uh, much an easy, easy repair or such. Um, Maybe if I undid it and then reconnected it, I wonder if it'll reset. Hmm. But I can't. I can't connect. I've got to connect everything up. Reconnect everything up. Uh, so it's very difficult. Yeah, noticed. Down there. Okay. Looks like an Allen key. I think I got uh, lucky on found an Allen key. There. And that. This volume dial is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. So that fit. So that goes right behind back here. I'm just testing a likely so the probes onto the uh, meter, and I've just been adjusting the volume dial. To see if I could see any resistance, and I've seen the, the levels change. I can't, I can't do this at the moment because I'm holding the camera and that. But uh, I'll just adjust the, the volume control again. Uh, it's changed. The levels change. I'll put the phone down. Just reach around the front. Turn it again. So, so there is a resistance there. So it does work. Um, um, just not. Uh, it seems to be some sort of lock, so it's got to be something that's on the board itself that's uh, locking the. Um, so that that component's not faulty by any means. So that's diagnosed. Um, it's got to be somewhere where it comes on to. It's got to be uh, one of these IC chips that's possibly doing it. Or it's a sequence. I don't think there's any dry joints. Uh, fluorescent display. Uh, I know basic of electronics, but not everything. Diodes. Uh, caps. Sisters, so it links down here. So it comes off that, and comes down onto onto this board. What could it be? 
anywhere else in the uh, receiver capacitors uh, transformer oh there's a voltage uh, sort of thing there uh, dial resistors, relays ICs integrates uh, mm. um that's ah, tricky I recommend I put it back together turn it on see what goes on again see if it goes bang <laughs> um I'll just put it back together and just see what goes on. Uh, it's lined back up. Okay. It's not easy. I've got magic running around. It's been hassling for food. Yes, you're hassling. Your magic hassle off. Yeah, being fed. And just greedy. He doesn't know uh, one one hour from ten minutes, or is it ten minutes from one hour? I don't know which. Same with bear. I don't know. <laughs> okay, power back on. Ah! Oh, huh. all the controls working now. Huh. Well, how about that? Huh. Well, that's unexpected, and it goes up to zero. So, I wonder what the wonder what the funny was. All I did was just undo the blimmin. Uh, all I did was undo it, unconnected that board at the back. But pff, can't see how any relevance there. I think it's just a fluke. Um, I wasn't expecting anything there. Um, What's the digital dial, uh, delay? That's only on the surround. I oh, wonder if it was anything to do with this, and it wasn't. Can't be because um, it would have to be um, I don't know, connected on there because there's only a thread. A oh, little was it? This only goes on one way. So okay, I'll just do. A, do you think? Magic. Oh, magic. I think it's because I'm in the kitchen. It's, I think it's the Hotel Ritz. Then he's back in again. He thinks it's the Hotel Ritz. I, I've been debating whether or not to get rid of Bear. To, um, you know, not get rid of him, but, you know, give him to a... Uh, he's got, I mean... He's got to be a pet of the week. Loving cat. Up for adoption. Um, yeah, pet of the week. You know, he's a pet of the week. No, no. Nobody uh, gets the idea on that. No one gets the hint on that, huh? No? Pinky the cat? No? Ring a bell? Pinky? <laughs> There is um, has to be if he it has if he if he's a cat for another home owner would have to be only one cat because he is an alpha male. He's an alpha male, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on, there you go. You think you think a lovely looking cat, but that doesn't necessarily mean so. Um, Magic is a loving cat, but he's just so very irritated, and he attacks me now if or gets hissy, and he doesn't like being bossed, and he uh, uh, he misses. He, I know he misses Sooty, but he doesn't understand why. Um, I don't. I got tricked. I got tricked, didn't we, Magic? I got tricked at the vets for that because of the bloody government paranoia and the bloody BBC and all that nonsense. This thing only goes up to zero. Huh. But then zero is the absolute. Uh, no VU levels on this. 
unlike say like a Harman Kardon or Fostec, uh, because the Harman Kardon AVP1A is is a Fostec. If you look inside, it's the on the circuit board. Um, I'm guessing this board here has got something to do with probably the THX proprietary technology and other things in there but this is just the processor and it's very well you know even this all around here that's pretty pretty oh it's pretty well constructed i think you open up a trinov and i've seen inside one of those trinovs that someone took a video recently i thought oh good gosh is that is that all it looks cheap the trinov looks cheap inside it looked like it was made in china all the parts and that from China and then assembled in France that's what it looks like um, I wouldn't touch a trim of a barge pole but this oh god this is a this is one of the first world first uh, consumer uh, THX uh, I believe there was one I think it's also based or something on I'm not sure if it was National Panasonic or Panasonic uh, but this one is what George Lucas uh, had in his uh, small home THX, um, like probably probably in one of those office rooms um, around the, the Skywalker Ranch. From what I'm guessing, when I can see a picture in the room, is a is a picture I took. This is a, the uh, the THX uh, laser disc. You get the book in there. This is obviously one of the offices. And there's the uh, there's the THX. Um, also, uh, someone else was behind all this with the construction and so forth. So it's got a bit of a. This is not like say the model that Lucas had in his office, no. <laughs> but many like it. Uh, this is a different serial number, I would imagine. Okay, so I power down. Uh, power back on. Let's see what goes on. Oh, oh, it's almost instant. It works. Hmm, weird. Uh, the seller, you know, um, was selling it like, you know, parts, you know, because of the um, volume the uh, thing didn't work and probably had very little knowledge of electronics, but I'm still curious because science got locked and it's kind of like 2001. I know it's a bit silly. Just a moment. Just a moment. It's going to go 100% failure within 72 hours. Go 100% failure within 72 hours. And it will stay that way until it fails. That way until it fails. It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything unit back in operation and let it fail. It should then be a simple matter to track down the cause. I, I hope that any question about it, it can only be attributable to human error. The 9000 series has a perfect operational record. None whatsoever, Frank. Oh, that's reassuring. So I'm going to put it all back together. Oh, there I go on the top, so I'll put this over. Just check it again. And a relay. Yeah, that still works. Okay. Could be just some sort of manual trivial. Hmm. There's, there's real no reason that why any of these components should fail. I mean, I would say, at the most, this has probably had one owner, at the very least. Uh, and then that owner probably got something else that came along, because man invents, and man thinks he wants to buy it. <laughs> Alright, that's back on. Top panel. 
that's pretty strong. Okay, let's put that together. So I've only got about 20% on the uh, camera thing. Uh, have I got any RCA phonos? Because I can only connect this up to an internal input. I can only connect this to, say, uh, possibly to the Denon, uh, any of the 8 channel input or on the Yonkyo and that would either go through to the uh, CP200 or that would go on, or just connect simply onto the Denon, go to multi-in and then level inputs will show up here and everything will output. I don't think I've got any RCA phono so I'll have to order some and it would have to go temporarily up on top of the Yonkyo uh, put the turntable down on the floor because um, that turntable will be up here. It's possible. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, it's all back on. Muting. Unmute. Okay, a relay in there. Yeah, so I'll get some, uh, see if I can find some leads or I'll, have to, I'll order some. And uh, I think I've got some RCAs. I think I have, but they're rather a little bit long. Anyway, bear's coming in now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just a moment. Just a moment. 